There are couples that God would lay hold of your heart and God would open a door and those cities lie there a hundred and two hundred thousand strong Hermosio, Guaymas, there are Obregon and Las Mochis and other cities that lay there within the reach of this place that you and I have people in this area that speak the language that could go if we were but put before them the worldwide vision that God says there is an urgency we do not have forever and the gospel is to all the world. Can you say amen? In New Mexico, beloved, there are six or eight major cities, anywhere from 25 to 35,000. There is no four-square gospel church in that place. Those cities are there waiting for someone to lay their life on the line and say, God, helping me, Lord, open a door, and I'll be your man that establishes the dominion. I'll be your man that establishes the kingdom. I'll be the man that receives the challenge and goes and plants a church. They're laying there within your reach. It is a mission field that the Spirit of God is saying to you, Come, and I will empower. Come, and I will enable. Come, and I will open the door. And you and I need to understand that the message is to all the world. I wish you could feel what I felt when I went into Western Australia, a, s a nation that uh, speaks English in Australia. is probably one of the greatest opportunities on the face of the earth today in Western in Australia. I went in city after city. I saw the great stronghold city of Perth. I saw cities beloved of 25 and 35,000 people without a single full gospel church in that. No vibrant witness for the Son of God. And my heart leapt within me and my heart throbbed as I realized, oh God, we have men and women, Lord, that could reach those cities. We have men and women that could be challenged. Oh, Spirit of God, breathe upon the church and let us know that the urgency of the hour is into all the world and we do not have forever to preach this gospel, but time is running out.